At the lab at the Dinosaur Resource Center, we're constantly working on new skeletons. And right now, we're getting close to being done on one of my favorites, Pete 3, the Displetosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Despletosaurus was a big, mean theropod. Kind of think of him as the evolutionary second cousin to Tyrannosaurus rex. Now this specimen is from the Judith River Geologic Formation in central Montana, which means he was running around in the exact same areas and doing the same kind of dinosaur things, but about 10 to 15 million years before the first rex ever even showed up. Despletosaurus also ate a lot of the same kind of critters that T-Rex did. He was concurrent with our new Ceratopsian and probably gobbled down a few of those over the course of his lifetime. Now this specimen was discovered with his very last meal preserved. We found this inside the body cavity. It's the lower jaw off of a tiny, young little duckbill, and he served as Pete's very last snack. Pete 3 was discovered in 2005 by a rancher friend of ours. The specimen presented some interesting challenges. The bones had been crushed by modern plant roots, and the rock it was in didn't support the fossil well, so the bones shattered into millions of tiny pieces. We had to work carefully to keep from damaging them any further. The skeleton was articulated, or still together in the ground. Since we couldn't take many bones out individually, we had to remove most of the animal in a big four-ton jacket. Back in the lab, preparation of the skeleton proceeded slowly. We had to take just as much care as before with these extra delicate bones. It's taken lots of painstaking work and even more glue. Our next step is reconstruction. We've already completed the skull, the front limbs, and one of the rear limbs. Just last week we set out the caudal or tail vertebrae for the first time and discovered that it's just a little over 5 meters long. The final length on the whole animal should be just about double that. Big ferocious theropods are the best kind of dinosaurs. Stay tuned in the months to come to see how this project progresses. And as always, stop by the Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado, and subscribe to the channel and share the video.